There was another alarming sign this weekend that terrorist groups are increasing their activity in Egypt's lawless Sinai Desert. Militants fired two Katusha rockets into Israel late Friday night. One hit the Arava, one hit Mitzpe Ramon. Those are areas that haven't been hit by rockets in decades. No one was injured and no damages were reported. Israeli officials believe that whoever was behind the rocket attacks, whether that was Hamas, the PRC, or Al Qaeda, was likely trying to influence the Egyptian presidential elections by baiting Israel into a military response. Any violence along the border might reflect badly on Israel's ruling military council and boost the chances of the Muslim Brotherhood's presidential candidate. Not wanting to get involved or influence the Egyptian elections in any way, the Israeli government has said very little about the attack. But we wanted to talk to Israelis about what they think about rockets coming not now just from Gaza, but also from Sinai. Take a listen. Well, the situation in Egypt, we all know that it's uh, very unstable. Even though we have a peace agreement with them, we definitely should take the government, not we, but the government should definitely take precautions in order to protect the citizens. It's only the beginning of the start, and if they won't make an order there, they can expect many more. Missiles are getting further and further and getting closer to areas that are not just around the Gaza Strip, but other places. Not that missiles being around the Gaza Strip is okay. Still, civilians' lives are in stake. Something needs to be done one way or another. Either this needs to stop. Either, uh, you know, some sort of peace agreement, which obviously I'm all for it too. Nobody wants war. Or some sort of military action that will end this. Thank God that nobody was hurt because somebody could have been killed. And that is wrong. You can't kill somebody just because you don't like him. The Israeli army says they're certain the rockets came from Sinai after ruling out the possibility they may have come from Jordan. But Egyptian officials have refused to take responsibility for the attack. Now, defense officials say they do expect more trouble from Sinai and that they'll do everything they can to keep the border quiet, even if Egypt can't. That already includes accelerated plans to build a security barrier along the more than 250 kilometer border between Israel and the Sinai. Now, there's also talk of hooking a lot up to the early rocket alarm system and even placing an Iron Dome anti missile battery system in the area. Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.